Hi guys, this is Prism and welcome to another tutorial. This is going to be about the camera controls I used in my last little movie or YouTube video, uh, Flying Free. And now I want to show you how I made them. Basically, I just changed the prefs from the Isteria folder itself. I'll show you where you can find them. First, you have to locate your Isteria folder. Then you look for prefs and down here client prefs graphic. In here is everything you should need, every command I used. I'm changing the prefs directly from the program but to find the names of what I need I'm looking in here. You can open the file with notepad++, I'm trying to link it in the description. It's a free program, if you have something else tell me. For now, I'm going to start with the easy stuff. On this point, let me remind you, before you change anything in the prefs, just make a backup file or maybe even copy your I complete Isteria folder, because if you screw something up, you'll be happy to have a backup file. You just override it and everything should be fixed again. Let's just start with the easy pref. For example, the cam jaw max speed. Jaw is regulating the camera movement from left to right. To change it, you just have to type in slash set pref cam jaw max speed. I'll show you. Let's set it to five. It's pretty low. Just to show you how it works. Then you press enter. Your program should then tell you that it changed the pref to five, whatever you typed in. And then you see your camera movement is pretty slow. The next command is almost called the same. It's cam pitch max speed. Pitch regulates the speed from, from a camera movement up and down. You just type in again slash set pref cam pitch max speed. We can set this to 5 again just to show you how slow it is. Then you press enter again and both should be set to 5. Then you can make some nice and slow movements around your character. The next breath I wanted to show you is about the th a third person view you're having right now. As you may recognize the camera movement is not pretty smooth. I don't like that in my videos. So I type in slash set pref third person camera follow tension. Setting it to two will make a nice and smooth rotation around your camera uh, character. The camera kind of lags behind of your character. I made a lot of my scenes in my video fly free. One makes a nice and smooth motion as well. The lower you go, the stranger or the more your camera is lagging behind your character. You can try around with that a little bit, even a negative, but I wouldn't suggest that because that's um, causing some really weird camera movements and you don't want that. Yay! You can try around a little bit, but I wouldn't suggest neg negative. Let's set it to 2 again and fix the camera. Anyway, another movement I made, for example, as you see it in the video fly free, let me show you. This one is if you set the third person to a really low value, for example 0 0.1, you just fly up set your camera behind you then you fly down again and then you start running this is causing a pretty neat effect like in the entombed dragon scene from fly free when you set this to a pretty low value your camera seemingly lags behind you endless but earlier or later your camera will snap back but you can create quite some nice effects with that. It's not looking pretty good because right now I have the winter mod on, it's everywhere snowing and the fog is thicker. 
Believe me, it looks better when you don't have the mod on. Next control I wanted to show you is for the first person view. As I walk around, you can actually, with your mouse lock, cause a similar reaction of the camera like with the third person to smooth the movement down. I don't like this right now. You just type in slash set breath first person rotation smoothing tension. Setting it to one will make a nice animation. As you see, the movement is now really smooth. You might uh, want to have a better internet like me right now, so your picture isn't really lagging when you're using this. But I like the animations. I use them, for example, one of my Dragon Park videos. Well, yeah, that's the basic stuff I wanted to show you. Looking further through the notepad, you'll find some more controls for your camera. For example, the accelerations or the zoom max speeds. You can figure that out on your own. The cam zoom max speed is how fast you're zooming in and out. You can set that to a low level and make a slow-mo zoom in. But what I want to focus on are the accelerations right now. The accelerations are used to control how fast, aka slow, the movement of your camera is starting or stopping when you're pressing a key on your keyboard. For example, the cam zoom acceleration. Let's try that out. You type in again, set pref first. Then you press your zoom button. Then you see your camera movement is starting really slow. Now I release the button. You see, it's pretty slow. Anyway, with the acceleration, you can create some pretty nice effects around your character. Another trick I wanted to show you, I heard it from another character I've been asking for for years actually, is how to zoom out sheer endlessly in the game. It's actually possible, but nobody knew it until Kaigera could tell me. In order to do this, you first have to type in slash set pref, then developer true. This is kind of setting you into a developer state. You can click at everything and you're actually getting a name of every single structure, tree or character, bush, stone, whatever. Anyway, that's not important right now. And then you type in slash camera set. It's first resetting your camera, but then you can zoom out sheer endless. This is actually not pretty good when you have a low field of view. You see your character starts to disappear. But you can actually change the field of view as well. But I haven't tried around with that in the notepad yet. You'll have to figure out on your own. I think it has to do it has to do something with the fog and the field of view. You can try around with that, but as I said, remember making a backup of this whole file. So if you screw something up, it can't be my fault. Okay, that was basically everything I can tell you by now. Try around a little bit, figure some things out on your own, and you should be just fine.